What's up everyone, let's LED mod the PS2 Slim front ports. Kicking things off with the tools and supplies, you will need your soldering equipment, assorted small screwdrivers, both Phillips and flathead, wire cutters and needle nose pliers, a razor blade of some sort, scissors, they are always helpful, along with some electrical tape. LEDs, color of your choice, but they need to be 3mm, as 5mm is just too big for the slim. And my go-to resistors, they are 470 ohm, 1 4th watt. To start, flip over the console, and then void that warranty as if you were even scared. The slim has six screws all hidden behind plastic caps. Remove all of those. Now you should be able to pull off the top cover, revealing the innards. Remove the small screw, then gently remove the motherboard from the casing starting at the rear. Next, take your Phillips head screwdriver and remove these four screws, securing the DVD drive in place. Once that's done, you will need to disconnect the three ribbon cables on the side. I used some IC tweezers, though this is unnecessary, just made it a bit easier. Once you start pulling up on the DVD drive, you will notice that this ribbon cable is attached with some adhesive. Gently pry it loose, take extra care not to damage this ribbon cable. Then remove this screw. Flip over the motherboard and remove all these little screws also. Once that's done, you can remove the bottom shielding. Now that that's out of the way, get familiar with the pins we'll be using for our install. On the controller ports, the positive RR 3.3 volt source is located directly in the middle. Then off to both sides are our negatives. Then for our USB ports, I used one pin which is a 5 volt source. Then I attached my negatives to the grounding surrounding the motherboard. More on that in a second. Here's how mine ended up looking. When you try to put back on your shielding, you will notice that there are metal fingers that come into contact with your LED. I removed all the offenders just by taking my pliers and bending them back and forth till they snapped off. Now, you're probably wondering about these two LEDs here. How I did it was I cut my legs really short, then soldered the negative legs directly to the grounding. I did this two times, one facing each direction. Then I took my resistor in and soldered my positives to that, connecting the other end to my 5 volt source. Once that's done, put your console back together and enjoy your new mod. Thanks for watching, I hope this tutorial was able to help you. If it did, please leave a like. If you have any questions, leave a comment and subscribe for more modding goodness. If you have a request on tutorials, let me know. You can follow me on Twitter at TechnoOnTop for channel updates. Still trying to get more into using that. Also, be sure to check out my last video where I show you how to do the same mod, but on the GameCube. I also have plenty of other modding related videos on my channel if you're not into GameCubes. Till next time, Peace.